Well, in addition to Thanksgiving, one week from today, thousands of people will be in Broad Ripple. Yes, Sunrise reporter Matt McCutcheon is live there this morning with more on why people will literally be running before their dinner. Good morning. Bruce and Julia, good morning. In fact, 18,000 people will be running, hoping that they won't have to pull out all the winter accessories like the gloves and the earmuffs to stay warm, right? Because they're all hoping for pleasant weather when it comes to next week's drumstick dash. This started 12 years ago and had about 1,300 participants. Again, now we're up to 18,000 that will be taking part in the four and a half mile run walk, as well as a fun run walk that is about half that distance. This raises about a million dollars each and every year for the Wheeler mission, helping the homeless men, women and children in our community find shelter, find a meal, as well as find counseling opportunities. And people come from pretty far to help make this possible. It's a huge family event. We've got at times 10, 12, 15 more, more family members all at once. I think last year we had 48 states and three foreign countries represented at the Drumstick Dash. I'd like to believe they're all here running, you know, the drumstick dash. I know better than that, they're here for Thanksgiving, but it's neat to see the families come together for that. We are now one week out from the drumstick dash, which takes place Thanksgiving morning. A team of about a thousand different volunteers are putting all the finishing touches to get everything ready. And if you want to register for this event, the deadline is Monday. You can go to WTHR.com and find out more information on how to do that under the hot topic section. But Bruce and Julie, I have to tell you what a perfect way to go get in a little fitness and then not feel guilty about all you're going to eat afterwards. That's a great annual tradition. Matt McCutcheon for us live. Matt, thank you.